Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as a Ch Chichen Itza, as we are currently building up our supply of political power, as well as building up our supply of rocket launchers. So everyone, if you got your rocket launcher, please bring it to work today. So, um, right now we are watching Petro Chico, or the remnants of Petro Chico Corp, or Corporation, get their butts handed to them from both Moctezuma as well as Santa Ana, and I've made some observations. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I tagged over to see how the war was going. Petro Chico is really out of supplies. Moctezuma, their robots aren't bad, but to be to be able to pierce them, I really only need 16 or 17 piercing power. So, really not that much. Rocket launchers are more than enough. Uh, better specs, we have more than enough piercing. Regular divisions, more than, than enough piercing as well, so no problems there. Santa Ana, he mostly uses regular infantry it's kind of surprising but you know whatever uh however let's let time go on as i sip or finish the rest of whatever coffee i've left here and build up our stockpile of rocket launchers because we get about 10 a day maybe even a little bit more so if we're at war with moctezuma which would be a good thing as we watch petro chico maybe die um i'm thinking about going to war with the vice royalties now we will mostly be defending against them if anything Seeing it as, oh, they still have the Protector's Guarantee, even though Tlaloc is dead. They have a lot of divisions, but there's only really one way for them to actually get around to me through the waterways. They do have a, quite a big navy, and so does Santa Ana, but his navy only has literally one battle cruiser, so that's almost nothing. So, that's something to keep in mind. Right now, they have a couple divisions. This is Petro Chico, uh, a little bit of manpower. And I can go to war with them in like 20 some odd days, so we might do that just to finish this him off. And maybe we could actually get some of his factories, like the refinery. If I can get the refinery, I can give everything else to everyone else for now. But let me at least get the refinery. I think that would be good, a good goal for us. Also, as you can tell, uh, Santa Ana is using some APCs, which actually have quite a bit of piercing. But I'm not using robots right now, so no real deal. No big deal. And also, I will say, I am saving up my political power. I could use it now to core other states, but I want to core the most expensive state, which is Oxchicalco. Chicalco. Just because if I want to do that, uh, let's see. To do this, you have your base value to core. You got the state's population. You have, the, it will, the next time you core, it will increase. Because of your core population, of course, the distance from the capital and the claim multiplier. So, I want to do the, at least for right now, the most expensive one just because my core population, my cord population will continually increase, increase, increase to the point where it'll go to a point where I can no longer do that. So, that'll be good to keep in mind. Right now, it's 2283. So, we're playing, we've been playing for quite a while. Let's get some more breaks. It sounds pretty good to me. And yeah, not too bad. Oh, common weaponry, nice. Finally got some better weaponry. Let's get some more soft attack with basic infantry equipment. Good, 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 good. Uh, factories, we're doing all right. We have a river, oh, ooh, river barge. That's a light cruiser. Let's see if we get a paddle steamer next. Yeah, you are a light cruiser. Mm, I love coffee. Still a little bit warm here. Uh... Do I want more armor? It's only level 1 armor. I don't know about the enemy's piercing power. I'm a little worried about that. Let's give him some armor for now. Uh, as you can tell, the stats aren't super great on these ships, but no one really cares. And that's totally okay with me. Uh, let's get two river barges then. Thank you. And just all go to Cancun Ka. Because why not? Are we building anything? We are building infrastructure to get more resources. I could use some more factories as well. Is there a good place for me to build? Ooh, 100%. I like 100%. Oh, now I'm going to war with the refinery. We might as well do that and test out our planes just a little bit more. We only have 42 out of 100, but that's totally, totally okay. And it'll be our goal to get the refinery. Because that is probably the most important tile from Petro Chico. Everything else is kind of eh, but the refinery, my boy. Oh, maybe I should have reorganized my line a little bit better first. Regardless, since I'm using player led peace conferences, we'll do this anyways. Give me a little bit of time. Give me about. Oh, they are attacking me because I am moving around, but obviously they're not doing super well. 
Alright, so you want to take one of my tiles? Man, come on. You, you don't have the capabilities to sustain an attack. So, oh well. At least we're getting a little bit of air XP now. Even only 44 planes. That's a lot of damage. They might have some anti-air, but... 12, like... Damage done to the enemy? Like... That's really good. That's really, really good. Hmm... Don't do that again. Oh, they might get the refiner, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take that in the peace conference because they were taking too long. Ooh, against five divisions, can we win? Probably. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna take this. Uh, ooh, it's going to be. This is gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna keep clicking, clicking, clicking. Hmm. Hope you guys are all having a great day. I will take the refinery because why not? And then I will divide the rest of this territory up between Santa Ana and Moctezuma so we can get this war started a little bit quicker. Cool. So, Moctezuma, you can take those areas. And you can take that. There you go. We all made out with great resources, my friends. Well, soon to be not my friends. Ooh, there's a little tile here. I'm not going to go to war with Santa Ana just yet because that would be a little crazy. Got a little bit more factories, got some more anti-tank, that's really good. Need more pioneer kits, support companies, monoplane attackers, and stuff like that. Pretty normal stuff. We need some more metal and water, though. So, I'm going to put all 19 divisions right there. That's probably a bad idea, but I don't really care. And then, let's let time go on for now. I don't mind speeding it up. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's do that. And I'm going to begin, actually, give me 10 of you guys, since you're all going to occupy... Like three tiles, that's totally fine. Oh, hello there. As your Cito Mexicano is justifying against us. Ten. All right, that's kind of interesting to think about. Uh, maybe ten more here was maybe a little bit too much. Tepic. Every time I say Tepic, I think of Tepic, the Pokemon from like what was it, Generation Five or Six? I can't remember which generation. There's too many. It's almost like too many generations now. I can get the first four generations of Pokemon fairly okay, but anything past that, I just, I can't remember them. Three. Nice. That'll be good. Don't expect too many problems from these people, but you should never know what might happen. Double up on there. I don't really care. Uh, so are you justifying on me? Did you really want the refinery that bad? Oh. The Menace of Yucatan. Okay. War goal against us. Interesting. Also, I am training some of my divisions over here. Uh, very nice. Very nice. You know, if they want to go to war with me, I wonder, can I use 19 divisions to guard against their entire army? Probably not. That's probably too many divisions. However, I have put in for my spec ops to attack this way, so we'll see what happens. I mean, my spec ops are pretty good. Go ahead and guard the line for now. Let you guys come up here. Put you on medium. I mean, rocket launchers. My goal was to go to war with Moctezuma, but if I need to call an audible, I don't mind calling an audible. Um, you guys are on the board already. You guys are down here against Moctezuma. If I need to call my spec ops to help hold the line as well, I totally won't navally invade then, because that would be kind of a waste. But I want to see what happens. Will they go to war with me? Hmm. Need some more close air support, that's fine. Uh, actually, you guys can actually come over here. We took the refinery, great. Go ahead and hold, don't worry about that. Ships, I might need you very, very soon. So everyone, do that, and just go ahead and repair. Go home and repair. No issues, no worries. Oh, do we have, we probably have too many of these guys. Yeah, we got a lot of these. I'm gonna wait until I have at least eight light cruisers before I make this into a new task force, because I already have a lot of battle cruisers. Ooh. Hmm, let's see, do I have an email here? Uh, no, 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 nothing of interest. So, come on guys, go to war with me, see what happens. Oh, 1871, what a great year for us historically. Uh, the German Empire was formed in 1871, I believe in January. Truly a great, great year. Oh, let's go ahead and stop doing that. You guys will need some organization if we get navally invaded. Hopefully they won't be able to navally invade us very well, but we'll see what happens. Okay, Kaiser declared war on Kaiser. It's good to see that this still happens. Vulpus's Legion probably won't win, seeing as Kaisar's Legion under Lanius still has a ton of 
industrial output actually combined a regular Kaiser's Legion. Nice, I actually did go to war with us. Cool, but um, with Kaiser's Legion and Volpus's Legion together, I did see that they have over 500 factories. So that's a little scary. But Volpus's Legion did get most of the navy. That's kind of weird. A ton of divisions. Holy crap. Yeah, Lanius doesn't have that many. All right, guys, where's my navy? Hope you're done repairing. Because if you're not, too bad. Um, do both of these areas just in case. Awesome. Hopefully they won't be able to naval invade us. Um, I don't think that they were necessarily really ready to go to war with us, even though they decided to do that. So I'm gonna see if I can make a small little encirclement here to begin. Not bad. I didn't really plan on going to war with Santa Ana this quickly and having a border with Kaisar, but you know I'll do what I need to do. And there goes the rest of my coffee. Mmm. I see we found some robots that we can kind of pierce. One of our divisions can pierce. That's good. Uh, oh, hello. Ah, this is where the Navy's going to earn its keep. Oh, they're actually... Oh, they're navally invading down here. I didn't realize there was a port down here. And we're not winning. Um, They have support robot platoon templates. They're using temp robots to defend down here. Interesting. Maybe I need to give some anti-tank to my... Other divisions, my Coast Guard divisions. Ooh. For now, um, you're on high repair for high priority for repair. Uh, make it five. That'd be good. And it looks like one of you guys are, is already in a battle. Where's that? Oh, hello there. Oh, look at that. Oh, they, they almost exclusively have screens. You need some capital ships, but then again, I don't want you to have capital ships because that would make it more difficult for us to win. Ooh, count to day of Ka'an. We're still suppressing our lovely, lovely subjects. They're, looking, they're loving it right now. Uh, they love suppression. Um, yeah. Nice, very nice. Even more ships gone bye-bye. wonder where their capital ship is. It's probably one big old naval stack. Good, good, good. You guys are doing a great job. You don't even need to go that way. Um, honestly, if I can do this, this entire war without... Like, with just using one army, that'd be pretty cool. Guerrilla tactics, nice. More breakthrough. Let's get some more organization next. Um, I kind of want to use my naval... Use these guys to navally invade elite breakthrough tactics. Alright, so we got more breakthrough and max speed for... What was that? Special forces, awesome. And as well as for power armor, that's not bad. Uh, for this organization for power armor, I'm not using power armor, so I might as well go for more special forces platoon organization. I need some more army XP, so... Go ahead, and for these guys, give me, uh, I don't want to combine, half of you guys, oh crap, I should not have done that, I should not have just done that, combine into one fleet, that was a bad idea for me, that was a terrible idea, so I'm going to have to redo all this naval or reorganization, god dang it. Well then, that was my mistake. My bad. I did not mean to do that. Ooh, basic infantry equipment. So, whatever. I'll, I'll fix it up just in a moment. Armor really doesn't matter too much. Support equipment. We're pretty much done with support equipment. We are civilized, so there is that. Land auction. We can do some more of this stuff. Platoon armor organization. Reliability. Special forces platoon re organization. Well, I like organization. Let's do that. Alright, shippies. You are almost all together. And we have another paddle steamer now. Nice. Battle barge. Ooh. Invasion defense. That sounds important to do if we do some naval invasions. Alright, so you're all together and I made the mistake of doing this. But it won't be that bad to do. Let's see. Oh, that's not a good... Recombine that. See if they... That's a little bit better. That's good. Alright, good enough. I meant to do... Convoy Escort, do that for now. And we still don't have enough. Alright, cool, whatever. Alright, so we have Naval Invasion Support. Obviously, I'll need the port over there. We're going to cut all these guys off and take the, the port as well. So, go right ahead, my boys. We're going to make the first encirclement of our war. Give it some time. Naval Escorts, doing a great job. Go ahead, help the forces on the ground. Oh, and they're 
Romulo Caserta. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And just in case, c come this way. Oh, we don't have naval invasion support over there. I should have put some support through here. That was my fault. But that's okay. Very nice. Can we pierce this? Yes, we can. We do have air superiority. And now they are panicking. I love it. Come on. Come on. Uh, I can't pierce them, but that's okay. Yeah, they can't pierce me, which is kind of strange. Oh, right. Let's see how much these enemies starve, actually. Um, let's go ahead and just kill them off. We don't need to watch them starve. I mean, we want to end this war as fast as possible so we can go to, to war with all of Tlaloc's sons, even though Tlaloc probably wouldn't like that. All right, come this way, and then come this way. So far, casualties, not bad. Against 51, pretty good, pretty good. Not bad. Oh, and since we already navally invaded, go ahead and switch this back to patrol. Very nice. You know, I might not need this over here. Maybe we can take this area off. If anyone invades, I mean, we have everything pretty much covered. Well, I have my area covered. What are you guys doing down here? Training? You get your entire army into one location and train. That might not be the smartest idea. Can I... Oh, I need... Oh, I can! Let's see how much more manpower. We have 13.8 18,000 manpower. And we get how much? Wow. I went from that much political power to three. Doesn't look like it changed that much. But I, I guess you're our core now. Nice. Yeah, looks like manpower didn't really change. All those guys died. Holy crap, that's a whole lot of dead guys. That's about 3,000, 4,000 dead guys because of that. Good job, guys. Spec Ops, I love you. So, um, for now, just, yeah, just put pretty much, on, pretty much everyone on the border. Oh, we're, by the time this war is over, we're going to own a little bar, part of Texas. I love it. Hmm. Here we go. That's what we're going to do next. Five. Come from here. Invade there. And then, just these. Oh, boy. You guys should be able to come from here and invade that naval port. You should be able to do that fine enough. How long will that take you? 14 days? That's not bad. Infantry? If you can, infantry, go right ahead. Uh, we don't have enough range for us to get over there. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Interesting. Well, if they want to come over here, it might be easier to attack them then. Alright, not bad. Uh, see if you can... Oh, you actually have to go through that tile. That's int Okay, that that makes a little bit more sense then. Alright, uh, someone was injured. It's fine for now. Uh, can we pierce them yet? Yes, we can. <clears throat> oh, we're doing very well in anti-tank now. Very nice. Oh, we can't quite win, but let's see what happens if I do this. We double up at the same time. No, we might still not be able to win. Interesting. Why is that? Oh, because we were basically having a naval penalty. That's why. Well, I might be able to distract them if... Actually, give me half of you guys. Let half of you guys heal up. Because this will be a continual attack. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah, might as well keep trying to do that. Ooh, some more divisions. We'll throw you on the army that is currently invading. And go ahead and tell my spec ops to go ahead when they are ready. The even invasion support, thank you. Uh, what is the enemy ships like? They're trying to produce more ships. They only have 19. That's very nice. Here comes some Mero Deodoros. Gotta send in my marines. We have taken La Pesca. Very good, very good. Oh, we got some more dockyards now. Oh, yeah, we have a paddle steamer now. And it is a capital ship. Uh, I'm going to kind of leave it the way it is. Very nice. Capital ship. We only need one brig. Wait. Naval barges are... River barges are not capital ship. Brigs... Are capital ships. So we only need one more brig. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And come to... There. And then come to there. 
Oh, we can't exactly win here, but that's okay. A little bit more naval supplies. That wouldn't hurt us too much. Alright. You guys, I want you to make sure that all of you secure this area here. So go ahead when you can. Oh, there's actually an airbase in there. Nice. Can we pierce these guys? Yeah, we can, but we're not we're not winning for some reason. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it's because our eh, we could use some air support. There you go, that should help us out, definitely. Some more divisions, thank you. And we got need some more Coast Guards. Yeah, that'd be nice. Wow, we definitely need a lot of those. Go ahead and throw you over here. Increase this by maybe two. Have a good time, you know. Just hoi four things, just old world bluths things. Alright. I'm going to make sure Tupil gets a lot of experience. He's already an organizer, that's nice. He's an ambusher, he's not an infantry expert, which kind of sucks. But whatever, uh, any other upgrades he's getting? He's learning a lot. I want him to become an urban assault specialist, as well as a trickster, as well as a mountaineer, very quickly. That'd be really good, actually. Ciudad Victoria. I never knew how to pronounce that C word. Ciudad? Is that Daddy Victoria? Platoon training, more organization, very good. Very nice. Uh, better recovery rate. I like that. And we'll get Ranger Doctrine done very soon as well. Give him a little bit more attack. Got a little bit more organization. And special units will get more breakthrough, soft attack, as well as heart attack when we are done doing that. Very nice, very nice. Um, they can pierce us, we can pierce them. No real major difference from that. Uh, let's see. We already built that airbase down there in the south, which probably wasn't the best idea, but whatever. Whatever, you know. Alright, we're doing very well. Do that. That'll be good. Um, you guys, don't be so extreme anymore. Ooh, but Tuhan... Oh, yeah, give, give me that infantry expert. That'll definitely help us out. Good. Definitely take that settlement. If we can cut these guys off, we can destroy so many divisions. We actually got over here. Holy crap. Um, you know what? Since... I'm not gonna go to war with Makazumi yet. I'm gonna actually put you over here. I mean, this is a little ridiculous that we went to war with these guys. Oh. oh I already have your division, so they'll do whatever I want. 4,000 losses. Not a lot more losses. They've actually... Not even... They're close to halfway to capitulating, which is good. But, you know, whatever. Go ahead and just fill, fill it all out. Armored... Armored carriers. Holy crap. Nice. Um... Up next... Oh, let's do some more naval modules. I like the naval modules. Could spend more time on these seagull scouts. Sounds good to me. Cut these guys off because we could really, really use it. Nice, cut them off. Then whoever's left down here is just going to be what? You heard that right. They're going to be Bleh. So I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know how long this campaign is going to last. It might last for quite a while. It might not. So I just want to let you know about that. Actually, you don't move. Uh, you guys just kind of hang out for now. You come over here and take these tiles. That'll be good. Yeah, you guys are fine. Just go ahead and move in if you can. For now, just go ahead and be extreme. It, it really doesn't even matter. Nice. Uh, you help out. And countdown to the day of Ka'an is happening. Very nice. Good. This is looking a little bit like a mess in the north, but that's alright. 5,000 losses, not too bad. Oh, before I forget. Patrols, my friends. Patrols. Ooh, do we have another... No, we don't. Very nice, very nice. Good job, my boys. You come down there. Yep, you're already moving in. Look at these divisions. They're starving for supplies, even though I guess robots technically can't starve. Last time I checked. But I could be wrong. Awesome. Just flipping awesome. So, we got these guys guarding up here. I want, you know what, let's send you guys over here because the spec ops, they're a little bit better than your average division. You guys come over here. And then we'll push for Reynosa. And that might be the end of Kaisar's, no, uh, Santa Ana. Kaisar is not having a good time though. Oh, baby. Detection and communication training. Let's get some long range optics next. 
Just go right ahead if you can. And let's see, you guys, yeah, just go right, go right on ahead. Just push in as the Spec Ops are holding over here. And Santa Ana is putting all his divisions in one area. Good luck with that. Naval modules. Uh, battle barges sound like fun. We should probably do some more engineering and or industrial stuff. I don't think I've done that in a while. The game is definitely lagging a little bit, but not too badly. Day of Ka'an is in about a week. You guys are having a great time. You know what? If they don't want to defend their areas, we're just going to push. You guys do that. Now they've definitely set up a lot more defense around here, but that's kind of fine. I'm using my puppets divisions. Don't really care that much since I'm going to annex them in the future anyways. Uh, we get about 1.58 political power a day. Not bad. Oh, you Day of Ka'an. Next year is going to be a little bit more moderate. We're, we have to offer a sacrifice. We're going to lose some a lot of manpower, actually. And a little bit of stability, but it's a necessary evil. Alright. Nice! We sunk their only battle cruiser. And sunk three of the ships. Very good, my admiral. Very good. Who are you? You need a promotion? Al Mirante Luis. But level four, not bad. Do I have a Pride of the Fleet? I don't think I do. Flagship. Oh, this is a flagship Itza. History, terrain, design. It's an okay design. If I can promote this as part of the fleet, cost 100 political power, more war support, ship experience gain, and chance to receive critical hit down by 50%. Let's do it. Ah, I didn't realize I didn't even have one yet. I love it. Yeah, look at those spec ops. They're just moving so fast. So well, so good. Go ahead and an attempt, a potential uh, attack like that. Oh, it's paused. Yeah, they put a lot of divisions down here. Let's go ahead and move you guys up a little bit more north. That gives us almost full, complete range. That's 30 to 35 air attack. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, and they're still attacking us. Losses? 7,000. Not bad. Not bad. They have more robots than I thought they would. Manpower isn't great. They still have a ton of divisions, though. Go ahead and pause for now. I don't need you to go too ham without... Two pill over here, not doing super great. They're still attacking us. And of course we are using Gabriel Canalizo. Level 3, not bad. He's, he's doing the best he can with what he has. Uh, yeah, if you want to attack, get the spec ops in there. They can just tear their booties up. Alright. Supplies, very, very good. Like, insanely good. We're building up tons of infrastructure. Uh, basic drills, very nice. You must have built some, a factory right there. And next, we're going to do some more reinforce rate for mechanized training. Cool. Paddle steamer. Well, let's get some more river barges. Because I could use more light cruisers. Thank you very much. You put you at the bottom. Awesome. Mm. You guys are doing fine by yourselves. I do, I do want to concentrate this infantry a little bit more than my spec ops. Just because... The infantry might need it a little bit more. You guys, you guys can stop attacking. Yeah, just stop attacking. Like, I don't want my puppet to get too much credit for what we're doing here. And we need probably quite a bit of political power to take them out, and that's okay. Go ahead and do that, guys. Oh, you might need some orders to do that. Armageddon, Astacion. Planet, you guys will be fine. Especially with 18, 19, maybe even 20 damage from our planes. Ooh, you guys could probably help out a little bit as well. Yeah. Losses. 2,000. 2.2 thousand. That's not bad compared to their eight, eight and a half. So, usually in these wars, so far, it seems to be roughly about one... For every one guy that we lose, they lose about four. Roughly. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Oh, four-year plan construction focus is done. And then we can do the next four-year plan, and now we can lower the autonomy of Tierra de la Tzotzel. Very good. So we could get Reynosa. That would probably... Yeah, that would definitely capitulate them. You come up here. Uh, can you stop these guys? No, you can't. Oh, they... Okay, they can't really defend against us. Hey, there we go. This is exactly not what I wanted to do in this episode, but, you know... I guess sometimes you gotta border Kaisar's Legion. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Look at... Look at that. That's disgusting. We gotta fix the innards. If I, you know, if we go to war with Kaisar, he's a little busy right now. But, um, yeah. If we go to war with Kaisar, I don't mind losing all this territory just because it's. 
not super super important I would I'll say um, ooh. birds I like the bird let's get some more birds over there mm, factories we need more water other than that we're doing pretty darn well on everything else if there's anything I need to make I pretty much already have it I mean I guess I can make maybe a few more guns need more Gatling lasers since it doesn't use water but does use more mechanic more metal scrap metal but really there's not much else I mean I could expand my you know I probably will expand how many uh, spec ops we have actually I don't even have I need a logistic company for these guys um a couple more dockyards give me a capital ship I guess Cancun Cancun Ka and give me another river barge I suppose I mean it's no problem there nice um yeah I didn't Definitely was not expecting that to happen, but that's okay. That's totally okay. So you guys come on back down to the south where you'll defend over here. We actually have definitely extended our borders. Send the spec ops up north. I'm probably not going to be able to navally invade these guys. Uh, before I forget, ships, you did a great job. We, God, I make so many capital ships. You guys go ahead and repair for now. And then you... We're going to get ourselves ready to go to war with Makazuma in the beginning of... Probably the next episode, depending on how long this episode's going to last. Two, three, four. Do that there. Do that there. Alright. Oh, actually. Give me another two over here. You guys do that. Make sure you got, you know, a line going. That looks pretty good. And I didn't proportionate or proportion how many divisions I would actually need so two divisions go over there to guard one tile each that's actually probably a very bad idea but I need two down here yeah I totally didn't proportion this quite right but that's okay that's what makes it interesting and actually I'm out of an extra division where are you going um yeah instead how about you come down here I only need one division for this right no worries right exactly no worries cool so yeah, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and start justifying on them. Oh wait, I already have justified on them. Can I justify on you guys? How long would that take? 90 days, how about the Vice Royal? Oh, you have a war goal. Ju you're justifying against Zapata. Oh, they're about to go to war. That might be a great time. Oh, Zapata got a little thick. Okay. Next year's harvest will probably be good. Who dares wins? That sounds very familiar. Um, engineering stuff. We can do some radio industry stuff. We're pretty much done with industry. Forgot about that. Conversion energy speed. Let's do some radio. I like radio. I, I'm a huge proponent of using radio in your military, but, you know, that's just me. Um, if anything, you guys should probably come down here. So you get much more range. I don't mind putting some stuff up here. Ooh, a lot of gliders. Monoplane attackers. I will end this episode a little bit in very very soon. Oh, hello there. Oh, wait. Imperial Mexicano declared war. Oh. Okay. Vice Royalty, what are you going to do? You should go to war with them as well, then. I can go to war with Moctezuma whenever I want. So, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, no, no. They can go to war with me. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to go to war with Vice Royalty first. Maybe I'll go to war with Vice Royalty first. 155 days. Um, how long will that take? Um, if I wait till 90, that'd be too long. Go ahead and start justifying on them now. We got the political power for it. And battle barge is done. Great. We can't get too advanced stuff, but that's okay with me. Uh, combat barge, very nice. We got a couple extra divisions, perhaps. Awesome. Yeah. This is interesting to see. Uh, who's winning? It looks like. Zapata seems to be winning. Human helpers, a little bit of manpower, division's pretty good. Resources for us are pretty good. I need to research um, logistic companies and put them on my spec ops because... Actually, you know what? Why don't, uh, better specs. I could put on fire teams now, but eh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and train at least one for now. That'd be kind of fun. How many can we have? 
Let's see, you're currently fielding 80 and training 8 of our 339 allowed. Nice, I can have at least 31 more types of that template. Actually, we're out of oh, guys over here, nice. Um, You know, if we need a new army, we can always make a new army. We have Felipe Salas. Salas, something like that. Uh, you two, join him. And if needed, actually, you guys can just come down here to help guard that area. That's not bad of an idea to do that. So, with that in mind, guys, um, we actually took out an enemy I wasn't thinking that we'd take out immediately. I thought we would take a few more episodes before we actually go to war with, like, with Santa Ana, but Santa Ana became a little bit too impatient by going to war with me. Anyways, I uh, hope you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you like the video as well. Check out my Discord below. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great, great, tremendous day.